Hi, I'm Kurt Gums, and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. Today what I'm going to be cooking is Cornish cod, the textures of broccoli, oyster mayonnaise, and a gnocchi fricassee. I love to cook with scallops, I love to cook with citrus, whether it's yuzu or the common lemon, lime. Give it a little bit of a pop, and there you have it. When you're thinking about creating a dish, think about the wastage, think about how you can re-put that into the menu. Being fun, being vibrant, being fresh, super seasonal. Yeah, that's my style of cooking. All right, guys, the next dish I'm going to show you is Cornish cod, the textures of broccoli, oyster mayonnaise, and a gnocchi fricassee. We have a nice large cod fillet here. There will be, as I said, a lot of trimmings, but don't worry about it. It's incorporated back into the menu. The trim is not a problem because we are definitely going to be using it. What I like to do is make a small incision, slightly going to the back of the tail. Once I have it, this is my fingers is pulling backwards. My knife is going in on an angle alongside. And then we are filleting away. Keep moving your hands up. Next, very important when you're filleting, keep your board dry, keep your knife clean. As you can see, I took off all the skin from the cod. I'm then going to trim away the belly, belly part, which is a thinner part, and just go straight out down the line, follow the seam. Just trim off a bit of there. I'm going to take a little bit of the tail bit off, because that's the thin part up to about here. All right, once we have the, the center loin, which is why I want, so I can get nice, consistent size of portionings, I'm gonna roll it into clean film. And what you wanna do is transfer this to a tray, a little bit of rock salt. The salt doesn't really dissolve or go into it. And again, it's a, a kind of like a quick little cure, dries out the moisture and more or less forms the fish up a bit. And you're gonna leave that there for about nine to 10 minutes. So the cod has now been cured for about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna rinse this cod off we're just going to take our clean film, put our cod down, and I'm going to roll it up like a ballantine to make sure it's really tight and cylinder shape. And you're going to take a couple of layers of this clean film. Press the outside in. And what you're looking for is for the clean film to start to become shiny. So that shows you that it's really tight. So now we got it, it's really, it's nice and hard firm, stiff like a rock, and this helps me to keep uniform portions all the way through. You can just cut a bit of the clean film off on the side, and then we go with the portions. So there we have uh, our portions, nice and uniform. Now we're going to move on to the next part, which is opening the oyster. This part is something I always tell my chefs, it's another thing about being very careful about with, with opening oysters. If you have a tea cloth and you're working in the kitchen, you're always maybe gonna have a, a tea cloth, a torchon. Take it, open it up wide, fold it, fold it again, take piece up and put it over your tongue. Just put it over the palm of your hand by your tongue. Take your oyster and put it in between of your hand to hold it with your fingers and your tongue. Reason being, when you're doing opening oysters, you're normally applying a lot of pressure and you don't wanna slip and jig into your tongue because you know even if you were to do that and you cut yourself there's three four layers of of cloth there to help protect so the cut that you will get will not be anything press down in with your oyster knife give it a little bit of a pop danger is gone clean off your oyster knife go in alongside the top you open up like that and what you see here is your oyster juices this is where the nerve is the muscle that's going to keep it all together just sever that and there you have it, your oyster. The next element of this dish is the oyster mayonnaise. Just gonna add in my egg yolk as per recipe. We're gonna add in our Dijon mustard. Again, it's just a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna add in my oysters as well. Okay, so now inside here, I have a bit of sherry vinegar, white wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, my oysters, and the egg yolks. We're gonna just get it on there, and you wanna be pulsing it for about one to two minutes till it gets light, airy, more pale in color before we start to add the oil. Okay, and now you want to start to slowly add your oil. Not all at once because you want it to slowly emulsify together rather than having the chances of it splitting all at once. So just go in, in about four to five intervals of adding the oil. 
So you can see the consistency has changed. As you put it in the refrigerator, it will start to even stiffen up a bit more. All right, the next element to this dish that I'm gonna be making is the parsley nucky. Again, you can do parsley nucky and squid ink nuckies, but all we're doing is making nucky. So what we're gonna do is have some dry potato and some flour, but what I have is parsley flour. And how I made it is we took curly parsley and flour together, put it into a blender and blitz it together. I'm just putting now a bit of flour and parsley flour together and a little bit of dry mash. Next, what I have here is one egg and some olive oil. We got some Parmesan cheese. I make a little well. I'm just gonna add some more egg to that. Just crumble it together, mixing the, the parsley flour, the par grated Parmesan, egg and olive oil. Again, you just wanna work it again until you, you're gonna feel it coming together like, like a dough again. You're gonna just keep working and kneading until it doesn't become sticky to your hand anymore. Like this. So now I can see this is fine. I'm gonna start to take little pieces off. Got a little bit of flour in my hands. So that's your dough. You can see it's soft. I'm gonna take a little pinch of it off, get it in my hand, a little bit of, of kneading. And what you wanna do now is roll it into a log. And this is something, you know, you do like plasticine, you know? If, you, if you're a kid and you, you grew up molding little Play-Doh, plasticine, that's what you're doing. Look at that boy. Rolly, 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 rolly. Rolly, 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 rolly. So you can see how long that got. Nice and even, all the way through. Just a little bit of flour. Just make sure you, you got a little bit of flour on them so they don't stick together. Done. Next you got some boiling water. And what we can see here is our little nuckies again. The good thing about these is you can keep them in the freezer, you know, and then blanch them from semi-frozen and boiling water as you need them. You know, you don't have to have them all the time if you're home. I also have the squid ink ones, the black ones here. I'm gonna blanch them as well. So here we go, we can see them nice and starting to float. You can see the black ones as well starting to float. And there you go, you got a, you can, you don't have to use the squid in, you don't have to use the parsley, you can make them print. The principle is exactly the same. All right, now I'm just gonna put a bit of olive oil in a tray and we're gonna start to take out our nuckies. Toss them around in your olive oil. Save them for later. Done. All right, this is where the fun begins. You're gonna take some real special care on cooking this piece of fish. So what you have is your little cod. I'm gonna actually do two portions. Just a little bit of salt. And what you're really gonna realize, I haven't taken off the clean firm. That's all right. It's gonna cook just like that. In a pan here, I'm just gonna bring a little bit of pickle liquid and a couple knobs of butter. And that's to make our em emulsion. I'm just looking to see that I get that lovely golden color which is starting to come. All right, when you can see you're starting to get that golden color and it's setting, then you just want to put your finger in the middle, just push the cut down and you're going to remove your clean film. Just going to start to get some knobs of butter in there just for basting. And you're going to baste that butter. You don't want the butter to burn too much. Just keep putting it back over there. So here we go now, just finish with a bit of lemon. Drop your lemon in there. Here's your cod. So now we got like a little thick emulsion going on here. It's bubbling up, pickle liquid, a bit of butter. You're gonna get in your nuckies. Also gonna drop in your pickle, broccoli, uh, broccoli diced from the stem, your shallots, a bit of comfy lemon zest, your tender stem broccoli, some fresh mix herbs. Done. All right, this is plating up, bringing all the flavors together, and you know, cod, textures of broccoli. What we're gonna do with it, just gonna give it a light blow torch. Fish down, adding that nucky fricassee with the textures of broccoli. Just gonna take our sweet corn. And now you're gonna start to build in your broccoli puree. 
the mayonnaise the and everything helps to create a, like the emulsion, the liaison. It's good feel to the mouth and it's another way of being versatile with one vegetable. I get excited when I'm plating all dishes. I love plating, trying to, you know, just drop things in the right place to give that bit of kg on a plate. This is the raw texture of, of broccoli stem. And then you have our popcorn shoots. This is your nasturtium leaf, a little bit peppery, which is good. And then to finish it off, it's your little white corn flowers. Just a little bit of juice, not too much juice. And there you go, guys. Dish up. So this is my Cornish cut with textures of broccoli, oyster mayonnaise, and a nucky fricassee.